Hey guys, I am trying to upgrade the seats right now on this uh, 2017 Ford F550. Uh, I am stuck after removing this. This harness has what? Four pin, five pins. I'm assuming it's like an airbags and the seat belt buckles. And this is a platinum edition with the heated ten way, I guess. And the pin, they look more than five pins. Bunch of wire right here. And I just don't know what to do. I can't find any wire diagrams on this online. Shirt the Google. Let me figure something out. Hopefully I tap into the right wires without any airbag popping. If I do find some wires, I'll post it. Hopefully somebody can work on it next time. Just make it easy for them, I guess. All right, I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm back. So after figuring out, got myself on Google and YouTube, uh, did some research. I discovered this is a uh, the positive right here, 2017 Ford F550. What it is, gonna tap this in here. That's for positive. And then that's gonna go in here. I did make a, a fuse, just in case. And then this is the harness right here. Um, I did some uh, tests on it. This purple and red would be a positive and black and light blue stripe would be a ground uh, i did test it it works um, all the function up down forward backward uh, works so i'm gonna try and put this um, power up and see hopefully uh, demonstrate you guys Hope to you, hopefully you guys uh, learned something. Alright. Okay guys, I guess the passenger seat is done. Here it goes. Going up. Back. It works. Platinum. Platinum's on my XL. How about that? Okay, here comes drivers. It's the most difficult because because this one half a memory. So I have to bypass something. Uh, I guess the Marjo. And then I figure it out from there. So let me figure that out and I'll get back to you guys. Hopefully it will be the same color um, wires. That will make my life a lot easier. If not, I'm going to scratch my head for another two hours or so. And figure out the diagram. So I'll be back. This is uh. This is a 2017 Ford F550 conversions. This is the driver seats. The passenger seats is already done. Uh, it's simple, but the driver seats are crazy, crazy, crazy. I've seen a lot of videos on YouTube where they cut everything out and then run directly to the switch harness and it's a mess so what I found now I've, um, is that if you can bypass the Marjo easily well not really I spent two hours on this thing uh, what I did is I tap the red blue 
wires on the right side with the white and red along with the purple and red on the left harness and then the ground I would tap into the white green black and then the black gray on the right side along <coughs> with on the left side which is uh, black and blue that's the ground this is the positive right here and then um, it works believe it or not it works so let's test it out right now uh, Be an easy way to do this. Uh, let me see. There. Uh, that doesn't work. Well. I know it's work. Um, let me tap into this real quick, and then uh, then I'll show you guys how to how. Let me see. I'll show you how it works. So uh, okay. So <clears throat> this is the wire that I did right here. You go up. There you have it guys, a 2019, I guess this is a platinum leather seats in a XL model of a two, uh, F250. After running all the wires, uh, everything worked. Back and forth, up, down, recline. And by doing the way that I did, I save or I kept the whole marjo without uh, tearing everything out apart. Just in case later, if I decide to remove the seats, all the harness and everything is still there. Um, just in case, but most likely not. Yeah, so if you guys um, have any problem or trouble, let me know. Maybe I can, maybe this video can help somebody. All right, all right. Next project is the center console, the jump seats is being reworked. I guess um, that should be easy. There's no power whatsoever. All right, next video.